Well, for the first time, the works of Gottfried Lindau are on display in Napier. During the 1800s, Lindau painted portraits, mainly of Māori, and many of them now hang on the walls of direct descendants of those who posed for him. As Mediana Hon found out, that made them hard to part with. If we misbehave, Mum would bring us in here and say, well, just sit there and Koro will keep an eye on you. He's referring to his great-great-grandfather. Where did he normally hang? He was here above the fireplace. Now a mass-produced Lindauer print of Harawira Tātere hangs on the hook, and the old man, or at least his 120-year-old portrait, has left the beachside haven of Waimarama and been reunited with 32 of his contemporaries. Handing him over was like giving away um, one of the family. It really was. It was terrible. Tough, in fact, for most of the families who agreed to exhibit in Hastings. Many of these portraits are the only surviving images of their ancestors. Most of them had never left home. Classically trained in Vienna, Lindauer, seen here in this self-portrait, left his native Czechoslovakia to make his home in Woodville. He's reputed to have produced more than a thousand oil paintings and captured some of the major players from the last quarter of the 19th century, most of them from the Hawke's Bay. Uh, Henry Russell, for example, and I think of him having a conversation with Te Hapuku over the other side. Back in 1877, Henry Russell took the Harpuku and other Hawke's Bay chiefs to court down here in Wellington over comments made in a local Māori newspaper. And as fate would have it, while the Harpuku was walking along Lambton Quay, he spotted a Lindauer in a shop front window and liked it so much, he ordered one himself. That painting generated 18 more sittings with Māori for the sizeable sum of £20 a portrait. It effectively launched Lindauer's business in the Hawke's Bay and cemented his relationship with Māori, earning him the name of Terenitawa, the shadow maker. The quality and scarcity of Lindauer's work means it's been fetching six figures. About the price the McDonald's paid to get this portrait back two years ago, but it's just money, they say. A small price to pay to bring their kuya back home. Miriam Nohond, 3 News.